and just know that God is doing something incredible. God is doing something amazing and you're going to see the fruits of that. But before we get into the prayer tonight, let's just open up, um, just open up prayer. Heavenly Father, we just come to you in the name of Jesus. Lord God, I thank you for this opportunity to share this with your people tonight, Lord God. I thank you that their lives uh, are going to be changed tonight, Lord God, as we just seek your face and we call out to you because our help comes from you and you alone. That amazing things is, are going to happen. Our lives will never, ever be the same in Jesus name. Amen. So make sure that you're sharing this for those that watch the replay, uh, that watch other platform. Make sure you're sharing this. Uh, this broadcast. Uh, so today, uh, I really want to go over wrestling with your destiny. And we are going to uh, pray tonight because there's certain things that you can't just, you, you got to fight for, right? There's certain things that you really have to fight for. You can't just let it go. See, anytime that God is destined for you, to do amazing things anytime that god has called you to do great things for his kingdom and for this world you're going to come up against opposition right you're going to come up against oppositions and one of the greatest oppositions that you're going to come up against it's not even that it's not even the enemy one of the greatest oppositions that you're going to come up against is yourself it's the battle of the mind you know, our minds are so amazing. God did a perfect job when he created our minds. I mean, our minds can accomplish anything, right? We can think of things both negative and positive. But one of the challenges was with that is whenever you are um, destined to do great things, you're going to deal with the battle of the minds, right? And then you're going to have other external forces, that are going to come to try and deviate you from whatever it is that God want you to do. So you have to be mindful of that. There's some of you right now that God has given you a vision to do something. God has placed a burden in your heart to do something. God has connected you with certain people to do something, but you're struggling Right. And you're dealing with all types of opposition. It seems like, man, things are not moving. Things are not working. But I believe that this month of September, before the month end, you are going to unlock so many doors that have been closed in your life. As long as you stay in the presence of the Lord, as long as you submit yourself to the leading of the Holy Spirit, then you're going to unlock doors because people don't realize this. The Holy Spirit always have an entourage, matter of fact, legions of angels at his disposal. So anytime that you're coming up against opposition, regardless of what the opposition is, you can connect with the Holy Spirit and he would discharge. He would deploy exactly what you need to overcome, you know, those challenges. So as you're wrestling with your destiny. Right. The Lord Jesus Christ is there with you. The Holy Spirit is there to lead you to help you understand how to be strategic in your uh, pursuit of, you know, living your destiny. You know, I, I had a, um, a conversation with someone a few years ago and this man was about 52 years old. So he came over the house. He had to fix something. And I was just I was just talking with him and I asked him a question about, um, you know, his family, his kids. And we got to talking. So I asked him, I said, what type of legacy do you want to leave for your kids? He paused. He looked at me. He said, hmm. He said, I never thought of that. I don't know. And I was shocked. Because here you have a father at 52 years old and never thought about his legacy 52 years old never considered what a legacy is never thought about what impact that he wanted to live for his kids his family and that really shocked me because i don't see how anyone 
can live a life without having a legacy in the back of their minds. I'm like, you know, maybe it was just me. But ever since I was about, I don't know, eight years old, seven, eight years old, I've always thought about my legacy. It was crazy, right? I know people like, you know, that young, but I've always thought about, you know, the impact that I was going to have on this world. So as you're wrestling with your destiny, I want you to think about what impact are you going to leave in this world? What impact are you leaving for your children? If you ask yourself this question, honestly ask yourself this question. And it's going to be a very, very tough pill for some parents to swallow. Would you want your kids to model after your lifestyle up to the stage in your life? If you had to advise your son, your daughter, your grandson, your nieces, your nephew or anyone in your family, right? That's the young. Would you want them? To model after your life all the way up to this point in your life. That's a really powerful question for you to think about. Because there's so many people right now. When they look at their lives. They would not want their kids to model anything after that. Because they never had a good role model before. Their grandparents didn't have good role models. Their parents didn't have good role models. So now they didn't have a good role model. So the kids have opportunity to do something different. But that is a question that I want you to have in the back of your mind. Every single day when you wake up, when you wake up today or you wake up the next day, the life that you lead that day, would you want your kids to model after your life? Would you want your kids to follow after your footsteps? If they had to put your life on TV for the past the past year, everything you did in private. And they said to people, you know what? This is so-and-so's life. And this show that life to your kids. Is that the type of lifestyle that you would want for your kids to model after? I want you to think about that because that is part of your legacy. People don't realize this. Whatever you do in private will follow your kids in public. Let me repeat that. The lifestyle that you live in private will eventually catch up with your kids public life. And that is why it's so important that whatever you do in private. Make sure that if a camera was to watch you 24 seven. Because the, the spirit realm, they're watching you 24-7. So a lot of people's destiny are being delayed or being aborted because their private life is one way. Their public life is another way. Listen, there's one thing you can never fake in the realm of the spirit. You can never hide what you're doing. I don't care what you do. You can never hide what you're doing. So you have so many people. They're not living a destiny driven life because their private life is something completely different from what they portray. And I made a decision in my life. I'm far from perfect. I'm far from perfect. But I made a decision. That as I live my life, as I continue on, I said, God, I want to make sure. That I'm not living a double life. I said, God, as I'm starting this ministry, as I'm starting to, you know, doing this ministry thing again, I said, Lord, I do not want to live a double life. I want to live a life that if you put it on screen, with the exception of not discipline my kids, you know, that has to be private, you know, private because any parents that got kids, you know, man, them kids, they they get the best of you sometimes, you know. So but if they had to put it out there, I can sit back and comfortably watch my life on the big screen without cringing. That is what I strive for. So the life that I'm leading in the public what you see is really what you get. That's the type of life that I lead. That's how I want, to, I want to continue living that life. What you see is what you get. And I believe 
that those that achieve great things in their destiny make up in their minds that they are going to be impactful. They make up in their minds that they are going to be impactful. But as a believer, it's different from those that are not believers. Because you're held to a higher standard as a believer. God looks at you differently from the unbelievers. So as we talk about wrestling with your destiny. Your destiny is a destination that you are striving to get to. And it's just strive to get to this destination. You're going to have a lot of uncertainties along the way. You're going to have a lot of obstacles along the way. You're going to have a lot of challenges along the way. You're going to have so many things that come up that you did not prepare for. You wasn't ready for. You did not see coming sometimes. I don't care how much you pray. I don't care how much you fast. There are some things that will happen to you that you will not um, that you didn't see before. Some things are going to happen because that's why the Bible said that we know in part and we prophesy in part. Right. So there's only you, you know, partially of, of what's going to happen. You don't know everything. You don't see the whole picture, everything. Then if you did, then you, you're God. And nobody can see everything. Nobody can know everything. So as you are wrestling with your destiny for whatever God has called you to do in this life, you have to remember the Bible said that a good man or a good woman leave an inheritance to his children's 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 children. What are you leaving behind for your loved ones? You know, sometimes we just talk about just financial stuff, right? We focus so much on the financial aspect of things, which is great. But what about the spiritual? Would you want your children to inherit your spiritual life? Would you want your children to inherit your mental life? Would you want your children to inherit your sexual life? Now we're getting deep, right? What would you want your children to inherit from you? Whether it's your, your, your biological children, your nieces, your nephew, or anyone that you have influence over. What are some of the things that you would want in your life right now? That you can honestly look at yourself in the mirror and say, you know what? I wouldn't mind if my children inherited this from me. What would you want to pass down to your kids at this stage in your life? That's a question that all of us have to answer all of us have to tackle that question because it's vital it's so important that we make sure that as we're striving for greatness as we're striving for our destiny we'll tackle all those questions and today we're going to briefly look at um someone who had a similar situation right they went through a similar thing and this is the man jacob and I just want to briefly just touch on that. So when you look at Genesis 31, this is when Jacob had, you know, packed up his stuff, his wives, his kids, all the stuff he had, his flocks, all those things. Right. Servants and and left his uh, uh, father in law's house, Laban. And he was getting ready to meet his brother Esau, the same Esau that he stole his birthright from. And Jacob was terrified. So he left Laban. Everything he had took it like, you know what? It's time for me to go. I've served you long enough. Now it is time for me to launch out in my own journey. And that presents one of the first lessons. There comes a point in time in your walk. That you have to take ownership. Of every area in your life. Jacob packed up all that he had with his wives, his kids, his flocks, his servants, all of it. And he realized that I have to take ownership of the things in my life. He realized that the decisions that he made before he stole his brother's birthright, he would have to deal with the consequences later. He realized that good, bad, ugly, whatever comes, he was responsible for what was going to happen to him. And a lot of us, 
We don't want to take responsibility. We want to blame people for all the bad things that happen in our lives. You know, so-and-so did this. It was, the, the, you know, so-and-so made me do this or whatever. Nobody can make you do anything. Nobody can make you lie. Nobody can make you cheat. Nobody can make you steal. People can't force you to do nothing. People can't force you to do anything, right? Because you have to. So, for example, if someone have a gun to your head, they say, you know, if you don't do this, I'm going to shoot you, right? I know that's not like a graphic example, but I just want to get this point across. Well, you don't have to listen to that. You can choose to say, you know what? I'm not going to listen to it. I'm going to do what I need to do, right? So the point that I want you to understand as we begin to pray is this. You have to take ownership of your destiny and the, whatever comes with that. So when you go now to Genesis chapter 32, so after Jacob left, had to encounter Esau, his brother, he was terrified. So he sent all his, you know, his wife and kids sent him out front because he didn't know how things were going to go. He had no clue what was going to happen to him. So he met with Esau and thanks, you know, thank God things didn't go bad as, as he thought it was. Right. And he had to make some adjustments. So once he made those adjustments, I want to go right now to Genesis 32, 22. Now, I encourage you to read the entire story of Jacob. OK, so you can read the whole thing. But Genesis 32, 30, 32, 22. Says this, and he rose, arose that night and took his two wives his two female servants and his, his 11 sons and crossed over the fort of Jabbok. He took them, sent them over the brook and sent over what he had. I want you to listen to 24. 24 said this, then Jacob was left alone. Jacob was left alone. There comes a point in time in your life that you're going to realize that you are alone in this battle. It is you, the Lord Jesus, the Holy Spirit in you, in the world. Jacob had all those things with him. Jacob had a whole lot going for him. But despite all the things that Jacob had going for him, the Bible said that Jacob was left alone. Jacob was left alone. In order for you to fight with your destiny, in order for you to wrestle with your destiny, you have to do it's It's a job that you have to do it alone. Now, of course, I understand God is going to send people along the way to help you. But when it comes to wrestling with what God has called you to do, you would have to take up that fight. You would have to wrestle with it. So Jacob realized that, listen, I'm at a stage in my life right now. I've messed up in the past too much. My father-in-law tricked me and I spent 20 plus years because I was tricked. I stole my brother's birthright and I had to deal with the consequences of that. I've made some mistakes in the past. I'm a liar. I'm a trickster. I'm a cheater. All those things have caught up to me now. But today, I have to deal with the consequences of my actions. Today, I make a decision that whatever comes, I would deal with it today. And Jacob stopped running. There are so many people that are running from problems. Anytime that you run from problems, they will follow you wherever you go. I've seen people that will leave one country and go to another country. They'll live one state and go to another state or one city or one relationship or one job or one church or one organization they will leave one thing and jump to something else and thinking that you know what that country was the problem so they left it 
That relationship was the problem, so they left it. That job was the problem. That company was the problem. And when they get to the other side, they realize that things are worse than where they left. Because they never dealt with the root cause of the issue. They never dealt with the root cause of the problem. So when you begin to run away from things, you run away. Eventually, it's going to catch up to you. So Jacob was in a position that he realized, I can't run anymore. I'm tired of running. And there are people right now that they've been running from something or someone, whatever it is. And they are going to deal with that issue over and over and over again. And Jacob said, "Nah, I have to put an end to this. So tonight, as we get ready to get into prayer, whatever you've been running from, you got to face it tonight. Whatever obstacles that you've been running from or that you've been so afraid to overcome, to deal with, you have to deal with it tonight. Tonight is that night. That you're going to wrestle with that thing. Let me read the next uh, verse. So Genesis 32, 25. Now when he saw, so then Jacob was left alone and a man wrestled with him until the breaking of the day. A man wrestled with him until the breaking of the day. Tonight is the night that you're going to wrestle with your destiny until you get that breakthrough. Because there's so many of you should have been so much farther along in your life at this stage. When you look back in your life, you're like, man, I, I should have been so much farther along. But tonight we are going to wrestle. We are going to overtake. We are going to get back everything we should have gotten before. So Jacob was in a position that Jacob said, tonight I am tired of running. I can't run anymore. I've messed up in the past before. I need to deal with this issue right now i need to deal with this challenges right now listen the fastest way for you to gain speed is to gain focus and jacob found himself in a predicament jacob said you know what if i don't fix this problem today i'm going to deal with this issue five years from now 10 years from now 20 years from now i'm gonna deal with the same thing so for those of you right now that have been dealing with the same thing i want to encourage you tonight enough is enough no more no more no more you got to get angry about being different you got to get angry about like you really have to get sick and tired of being sick and tired and as a believer you have the lord jesus christ to help you as a believer you have the holy spirit inside of you to help you as a believer you are more than a conqueror as a believer greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world as a believer no weapon that is formed against you shall prosper so let tonight be the night that you send a message to the kingdom of darkness that listen i've had enough i, I i've had enough tonight my life must change I would not wake up in the morning dealing with the same nonsense. I would not wake up in the morning dealing with the same issues that I dealt with two days ago, three days ago, whatever time frame. Let this day be as a notice to the realms of the spirit that I refuse to give up. I refuse to stand down. I am going to fight. There's a move that I watched as a kid. It's called no retreat, no surrender. Sometimes you got to get in the battle and make up in your mind that I refuse to retreat and I'm not going to surrender. The reason why so many of you, you're not getting the breakthrough that you need, that your destiny has been aborted, has been delayed because you don't have that mindset of no retreat, no surrender. Listen, the enemy respects people that have that mindset. The enemy is afraid of people that have that mindset. When the devil sees that you have the mindset of no retreat, no surrender, I am telling you, all those demons, I don't care who they are, even people, when people realize that you have the mindset of no retreat, no surrender, 
you are going to break through. You're going to break forth. Uh, things are going to shift when you have that mindset. So the first thing that you need to change as you break forth is change your mindset. So right now, I don't know what you're dealing with. I don't know what the enemy has stolen from you, but I want you to get in your mind right now. No retreat, no surrender. We are going to wrestle with this thing. The Bible said that we're wrestling not against flesh and blood. Listen, if you've ever watched a wrestling match. When you watch a wrestling match, I'm talking about intense wrestling match. The people, they're grabbing each other. They're punching. They're flipping. They're back and forth. They're sweating. You know, sometimes one get pinned down. They got to flip over again. So as you're in this battle, there are times when the enemy might knock you down and pin you down. But as you begin to cry out, Lord Jesus, out, you have the angels that come to rescue you and to flip the enemy over. And you get back in that battle. But you got to stay in the fight you cannot win a fight that you don't stay in you cannot win a fight that you give up on there's so many of you that you've already given up on this fight for your destiny because you say god it is too much Lord, I can't do this, but I come to speak to you prophetically that you got to wrestle with this thing today. You got to fight with this thing today and the enemy will begin to respect you after tonight. You're going to take back territories that have been lost for decades. You're going to claim back territories that have been lost because your great, great ancestors, they messed up. But today God has anointed you. God has appointed you. God has called you out by name because the Lord said before I formed you in the womb I knew you I appointed you to save your family I appointed you to transform the nations I appointed you to bring breakthrough in your generation let today be that day that we're going to wrestle with the enemy we're going to wrestle with our destiny listen anybody that stands in your way today they better get out the way or get ran over they better get out of your way or they will get ran over because the angel Angels of the Lord are coming full force. They are behind us. When Elisha was with, with, with his servant and the Assyrians had surrounded them, the servant was terrified. He was afraid. He was afraid. Oh, my master, we're surrounded. Oh, my master, we have nowhere to go. Oh, my master. Oh, what are we going to do? We don't have any weapons. Uh, we don't have anything. Uh, but the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but they are mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds. Uh, but when Elisha said, let me let this young man see the things in the realm of the spirit, uh, he said, Oh Lord, open up this young man's eyes. Lord, open up, open up his eyes so he can see that all of heaven, the angels are behind us, legions of angels are around us. And when the young man's eyes was open, he saw chariots of fire. He saw the presence of God. He saw the angelic coast. They are ready. Listen. There is some angels that God have ready. Their responsibility is to fight for your destiny. There's some angels that God have ready. They are waiting to war for your destiny to manifest. So when the young man's eyes was open with Elisha, he saw that. That there are more that be for us than that be against us. The reason why so many people give up because they don't realize that you have so much more that is going for you than that is going against you. If the Lord would open up your eyes, as a matter of fact, I pray right now that the Lord Jesus through the Holy Spirit will open up your eyes for you to see, for you to see things you've never seen before. I am telling you, you are going to be encouraged. Y'all. You're going to be so empowered. You have no reason to be afraid of the enemy i don't care what the devil brings. stop being afraid to make progress because you're afraid that the enemy is going to attack you there's so many people today oh they don't want to make any progress because they have this fear you know the devil's going to come after me he's going to come after listen the enemy will come after you anyway he will come at he's been coming after you for decades come after your family so you're next in line you're not going to escape this so you better level up you better get ready to fight you better get ready to fight you better prepare you better train yourself to get in this fight because if you don't train yourself to get in this fight you're going to lose you but not today so I want to let you know today as you get ready tonight is the night that we come ready I'm telling you I am telling you tonight is that night that will let the kingdom of darkness know listen I'm out of loss last week 
But today we're starting all over again. Today I refuse to give up. I refuse to give up. I will pick myself up and get back in the ring. So many of you have given up. You've given up the fight. You say, oh, this is so hard. My destiny. I'm, I, I just, no, listen, you got to stay in the fight. So I want you to get in your mind. I want you before we start to pray, make up in your mind that you will not give up on your destiny. Because if you don't make up in your mind, you won't go anywhere. You're going to go back in the same negative cycles. But I want you right now. Oh, Jesus, make up in your mind. That come what may, you are not giving up. I want you to say, I refuse to retreat and I refuse to surrender. I'm not retreating. In other words, I don't care how bad the battle gets. I'm in the heat of the battle. I would not back up. I won't give up and I am not going to surrender. Even though sometimes I might be losing, but I will cry out to the Lord Jesus. Because the Bible said that they that wait upon the Lord, he shall what renew their strength. So when you run out of strength, all that you got to do is say, Lord God, I am out of strength. Father, I don't have the strength anymore. The Bible said that when Jesus was tempted by the enemy, that the angels came to minister to him. Because angels, they are ministering spirits. So they've been sent to minister to you, to me. So anytime that you feel weak, anytime that you feel weary, just say, Lord Jesus, I need strength right now. And the Lord, through the Holy Spirit, will empower you. And there are times when the Lord will send angels to touch you, to touch you, and they will rejuvenate your soul. They'll rejuvenate your mind. They'll rejuvenate your body. But today, we are not retreating anymore. We are going forward. So when the Jacob wrestled with the angel, he wrestled with the man. And then listen to this. Now, when he saw that he did not prevail against him, Genesis 32, 25, Speaking about the wrestling that Jacob had. Now, when the angel and the man saw that he did not prevail against him, he touched the socket of his hip and the socket of Jacob's hip was out of joint as he wrestled with them. He's now when he saw that he did not prevail. Listen, let me tell you something, my brothers and my sisters in the Lord. When the enemy realize that you're not giving up. He is going to back off. When the enemy real, but you got to stay in the fight long enough. You got to stay in the fight long enough for the enemy to back off. You can't be in the fight for two, two minutes and then you expect for Satan. No, he will fight you. He will fight you. Come after you. So as we get ready to usher in, I want you the first thing to do is to get in your mind. Get in your mind that you are not retreating and you are not going to surrender. I want you to get in your mind. Get in your mind. We are going to go to war in a minute. We are going to go to war in a minute. You have been too passive in times past. You have been too passive. You have been too passive. You have been so easily pushed around the enemy has been bullying you for so long the enemy has been bullying you for so long but today we stop that bullying today we'll let the devil know that we are not going to be bullied anymore we are coming full force in the name of jesus in the name of jesus we are coming full force so i want you to get in your mind out that you are coming full force out i want you to get in your mind that today Whatever has been stopping you has to move out of the way. Whatever has been blocking you has to move out of the way. Who, Whoever has been standing in your path, they better move or they will get ran over. Listen. We got to stop this soft, you know, Christianity thing where you just kind of, you know, just being so soft. You let people push you over, let people disrespect you because you're a Christian. Are you kidding me? Nah, I'm nah, nah, not this. No, not me. No, absolutely not. I refuse to be pushed over. I refuse to be bullied. I refuse to be taken advantage. I refuse. We're going to get in this fight. And I'm telling you, we're going to get in this fight. 
we're going to get in this fight. I'm not backing down. I am not. And you better get in your mind right now that you refuse to back down. You better get in your mind right now, even as we get ready to usher in right now, because you got to understand something. The kingdom of darkness and the kingdom of light. They're watching this broadcast right now. So they're watching you. They're watching your response. Don't let them think that you just all talk. See, a lot of times, most people just, they just all talk. They just all talk. They just all talk. But I'm telling you, when they realize that you begin to come with full force, that is why you have to be consistent in your prayer life. I always tell people this. You got to be consistent because in order for you to win this battle, you need consistency in the prayer life. You can't pray hard for two days and don't pray for another six months. Listen, when you gain whatever grounds that you gain when you're praying, the moment that you go for a few days, a few weeks, a few months, and you don't pray, you lose that ground. So what you got to do is you got to keep going every day. Keep going. Set some time apart that you begin to war every day. You keep pushing. So we are going to keep pushing. We are going to keep pushing. I see so many of you. You've been pregnant with something. God is impregnating your spirit with something. And I believe that September is the month that you're going to give birth. September is the ninth, your, your, your last trimester. September is the ninth month uh, that you're going to give birth. There's so many of you right now. You've been carrying this thing inside of you. And that child that has been inside of you is screaming to come out. You are long overdue for a breakthrough. You are long overdue for a breakthrough. You are long overdue for something amazing to happen. But today is the day that you're going to give birth. It's the day that you're going to give birth. So I want you to mentally get ready in your birthing position. We're going to birth forth whatever God has called you to do in this day. We're going to birth forth. We're going to birth forth. Because today it must come forth. Listen, don't let tonight pass you without you giving birth. If tonight pass you and you don't give birth, it is nobody else's fault but yours. You have to give birth by fire, by force. Uh, even if the an angels have to come and do a spiritual C-section, that baby must come out tonight because you are destined for greatness. All that is locked up inside of you, it is going to come out. So we are going to war now. So I want you to get in your mind. I want you to get in your mind. First and foremost, the first prayer point is to get in your mind. Get in your mind that I refuse to retreat and I refuse to surrender. So I want you to say, I refuse to retreat in the name of Jesus. I will not surrender. Get that in your mind. Get that in your spirit. I I want that to soak in. I want that word to soak in. I can't retreat anymore and I'm not going to surrender. I can't retreat anymore and I'm not going to surrender. I want you to repeat that. Repeat that after me. I refuse to retreat and I refuse to surrender. I refuse to retreat and I refuse to surrender. No more retreating. I'm not surrendering. No more. So once you get that in your spirit, let that word soak in your spirit. Let it soak in your mind. Let it soak. Let it soak. Let it soak. And if you know anybody too, that needs to give birth. Share this now so they can join as we are together. Because something happens when we pray together. Something happens when we pray corporately. Things begin to break forth so share the link with a friend someone that can join right now and be part of this birthing season this is your birthing season i want you to let somebody know today is your birthing season you have carried that baby long enough your destiny has been long delayed as long overdue but today is the birthing time so get in your mind i refuse to give up i refuse to surrender i refuse to surrender i refuse to retreat in the name of jesus Jesus. And we're going to spend the next moment to speak in tongues. For those of you that can speak in tongues, for those of you that don't speak in tongues, you just pray in your native language. Uh, and your prayer point is going to be, I refuse to retreat and I refuse to surrender. We're giving birth tonight. 
Ria Karebe, Romo Corina na Makasa, Rua Bacarina ne Mericata, Robo Corina, Rikiri Yarabaca so Corina. I refuse to give up tonight. I refuse. My destiny has been calling me for too long. Ria Makarebe, Rua Karebe Kesa. My destiny has been calling me for too long. Tonight is the night that I give birth. Tonight is the night that I see great and mighty things. Tonight is the night that I experience the power. Of God, I want you to pray with me. I want you to pray with your heart. It's in the name of Jesus. I want you to get rid of any distractions. If any distractions, get rid of it. Get rid of it. Get rid of it. We're getting there. Korea Bakari Babe. Rokorina na ribakari ruwakari na na makasa rokoria ra rebekiri na na ruwabakari na ne me ria bakasa oh we're coming tonight enough is enough ah enough is enough ah devil you've messed with our lives enough ah you've delayed our destinies enough ah you've delayed our families enough ah but tonight we'll put an end ah to whatever's been causing a delay in our lives ah I'm not retreating anymore i might have been defeated before but greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world i might have been discouraged in the times past but today is the day that i step into my destiny come on we're in a mighty warfare right now Baka Rua Bakarina na Makase Ria Bakorina Nama Rebeke Ria Karida Makarebe Rua Makarina Ne We're breaking through tonight We're breaking through tonight We're giving birth Our destiny is September You will give birth this month Matter of fact in the next 24 hours I want you to put a demand on God And say today I must give birth Today I must give birth In the name of Jesus Whatever has been holding my destiny in the back let it go I want you to use your authority in the Lord Jesus Jesus said all authority has been given to me in heaven on earth and under the earth whatever has been holding your destiny back I want you to speak to that thing say let it go release my destiny release my destiny release my destiny there's so many of you I see greatness locked up inside of you but the enemy has been deceived Deceiving you. The enemy has been distracting you. The enemy has brought con- confusion in your lives uh, and to your family. But today, we put an end to that. I want you to pray like you've never prayed before. You got to be sick and tired of being sick and tired. Ribaka, Rua Bakarina Neme, Ria Karebe Kirira Rabakasa, Romo Corina. I will give birth. I want you to prophesy to yourself. Today I'm giving birth uh, to my destiny. Today I'm breaking forth. Uh, Ria Karebe Kirina Namakaso, Ria Bakorina, Ribaka. Break forth. Uh, break forth. Uh, break right now. Break right now. I want you to speak to every demon. Uh, I want you to speak to them. Every marine spirit. Uh, spirit that come from the water we come against you right now we arrest you right now you will let our destinies go you will let our destinies go in the name of jesus uh, you must let us go uh, we command you we take authority i want you to use your divine authority in the name of jesus begin to command all those demons uh, that have been holding you back uh, begin to speak to them begin to speak to them i want you to use your authority don't keep your mouth silenced i'm telling you there is something that happens uh, when you begin to usher sounds in the realm of the spirit uh, when you usher sounds in the realm of the spirit uh, the voice of God uh, begin to move uh, the angels of the Lord are active Riyabakari na na bokosa Riyabakari na na bokosa 
Let my destiny go. Let me go. Let my children go. Let my family go. Let my relationships go. Let my mind go. Oh, today I'm giving birth. Today I'm giving birth. Listen, when you wake up in the morning, I prophesy to you today that you're going to wake up and hold the baby that you give birth to. That this next morning, in the next 24 to 48 hours, the baby that has been locked up inside of you, that destiny that has been locked up inside of you, you will hold that thing. You will see that thing come to fruition in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, we refuse to let it go. We refuse to let it go. We fight with this thing. We fight with it in the name of Jesus. We are warring. We're praying. Romoko Riakari Bakasa Ruaka, it must come to pass today. It must happen today. We're wrestling with it. Uh. We're decreeing, declaring that everything that's been holding us back, uh, let us go. Uh. Let us go in the name of Jesus. Uh. Those doors are beginning to open. Uh. Those doors are beginning to open. Uh. Let the doors that have been closed in my life open. Uh. Let those doors open in the name of Jesus. Uh. Let the doors open in the name of Jesus. Uh. Let those doors open. Uh. Begin to command those things uh, that have been holding you back. Call them out by name. Uh, call them out by name. And they will begin to leave one by one. They will flee one by one. Ribaka, ruwa karina neme. Ria bakare kerira rabakasa. Rebe korina nama. Ruwa kariya karebe kerira rabakaso. Rimaka, ria bakarira rakerina na. Rokorina na. Rebe kerira rabakasa. We'll break forth today. We'll break forth today. We break forth in the name of Jesus. Uh, we break forth. We break forth. Uh, we break forth. Uh, we unlock those doors. Uh, we smash those doors open. Whatever doors that's been resisting us in the name of Jesus open up today. Whatever doors has been resisting us, uh, we smash you open. In the name of Jesus, uh, whatever doors uh, that have been resisting us, uh, we open those doors in the name of Jesus. Uh, oh, Father God, let those doors open right now. Whatever spirit uh, that is behind those doors will arrest you in the name of Jesus. Uh, whatever spirit that is behind the doors uh, of our destiny, whoever's behind it, uh, We'll send the fire right now. We'll send the fire right now. You must let that door go. Get out the way. Get out the way. Move out the way. Whoever's been holding us, uh, whoever has been holding us back, whatever altars that has been sponsored right now, we'll send the fire over every demonic altar. I want you to send the fire over every demonic altar that is fighting your destiny. Let them catch on fire right now. Catch on fire. Let it catch on fire. Rokoriba, Ruakari Naneme, Riakare Be Kirimaka, catch on fire in the name of Jesus, uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, anyone that has resisted me, you no you no longer resist me. You will resist me no more. I want you to speak to every person that has been resisting you. I want you to speak to them that they will no longer resist you in the name of Jesus. Uh, whatever yoke, whatever bondage uh, that you've been in, I want Want you to prophesy and say that you are free in the name of Jesus uh, because whoever the son set free is free indeed so I want you to prophesy to them I want you to speak right now that you are free break free whatever chains uh, that is over you whatever chains that is over your children whatever chains that is over your family whatever chains uh, I want you right now to begin to speak to those chains uh, I break those chains in the name of Jesus, uh, command those chains to be broken. Command those chains to be broken. Is it a relationship chain? Uh, is it a financial chain? Is it a mental chain? Is it a health chain? I want you to break forth those chains in the name of Jesus. Uh, break them. Uh, break them. Uh, break them right now. Those chains must be broken. Uh, they will be scattered today. When we wake up in the morning, we're waking up free. We're going to bed free tonight. We're waking 
broken up free in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, we are free. We're decreeing and declare our freedom. We'll take over. We'll take over right now. Freedom in the name of Jesus. Freedom in the name of Jesus. Let the fire of the Lord begin to consume every agenda of the enemy this hour. Whatever plans the enemy have today will send fire right now. It will not manifest. Whatever the agenda of the enemy will not manifest over our lives. It will not manifest over our families in the name of Jesus. Uh, I want you to begin to cancel every demonic assignment uh, over your life this hour. I want you to cancel it right now. In the name of Jesus, uh, whoever's plotting against me, against my destiny, against my family, you would not succeed. Uh, I scatter your plans. Uh, I destroy your plans. Uh, I want you to break the plans of the enemy against you right now. Because even as we're praying, the kingdom of darkness uh, is getting ready to set up plans for you for tonight but by the blood of Jesus uh, in the name of Jesus whatever plans that they have we we'll send fire we we'll send fire in the camp of the enemy we we'll send fire in the plan of the enemy we we'll send fire to consume every demonic meeting right now let it be met with the fire of the Lord uh, let it be met with the fire of the Lord any place uh, that your name is being called uh, even the places that they try to call up your image uh, they try to look you in the mirror. We send fire over every demonic mirrors right now. In the sea, we send fire over every demonic mirrors right now. In the name of Jesus. Uh, let the fire of God burn every demonic mirror that when they call up your spirit uh, the blood of Jesus will show up uh, let the blood of Jesus represent us uh, in the water kingdom in the marine kingdom we're serving notice right now to the queen of the coast uh, we'll let them know uh, that greater is he that is in us uh, than he that is in the world we'll take authority right now every marine spirit catch fire every marine spirit catch fire every evil spirit fire every demonic spirit fire every witch fire every wizard fire every warlock fire every person uh, that is coming up against us uh, we send the fire of the holy ghost around them uh, let that fire begin to burn inside uh, let the fire of the holy ghost uh, begin to consume uh, so come on we're still going we're not giving up yet uh, Nah, nah. Fire, fire, fire. In the name of Jesus, uh, we refuse to retreat. Uh, we refuse to surrender. Even when we get discouraged, we keep going. Even when we make mistakes, we keep going. Even when we get frustrated, we keep going. Oh, Father God, we refuse to give up. We refuse to give up. We refuse, uh, we refuse to give up in the name of Jesus. Uh, no more, no more. Oh, our destiny must manifest today. Everything that God has called us to do will manifest today. Everything that God is destined for us, you will manifest today. I want you to prophesy. Say, destiny manifest today. My destiny manifest today. My destiny. I want you to speak that. Speak it out. My destiny will manifest today my destiny will manifest today in the name of jesus uh, it will break forth uh, it must break forth uh, you're pushing that baby out uh, in the realm of the spirit uh, great things have already happened but we decree that it's going to manifest in the physical realm uh, we decree that it must happen in the physical realm in the name of jesus uh, you will manifest today whatever obstacle we remove them right now we remove every obstacle obstacle right now in the name of Jesus, uh, we remove them right now. We're still going forward. Uh. Manifest today. Uh. Manifest today. All the dreams that God has given you will manifest today. Everything in your life uh, that is in accordance with the will of God must manifest today. I want you to 
prophesy to yourself. I, I want you to speak and say you must manifest today. You must manifest today. I refuse to take no for an answer. I refuse to go back empty handed. I refuse to retreat. I refuse to surrender. Devil let me go. Let my life go. Let my destiny go. Let my relationships go. Let our families go. Let our marriages go. Let our money go. Let us go. In the name of Jesus. You got to get violent with the enemy. This is not the time now. You don't ask the enemy to leave. You don't beg him to leave. You don't plead with him to leave. In the name of Jesus. I command every demonic stronghold to be broken now. Whoever is binding now. I come, come against you. In the name of Jesus, uh, we're not asking the devil to leave anymore. We're not begging him. His time is up today. His time is up today. He has to leave by fire, by force. We we'll send the fire right now. Whatever demon refused to leave, be burned by fire. Whatever evil spirit uh, refused to leave, uh, catch fire right now. In the name of Jesus, uh, if you refuse to leave, uh, catch fire. We we'll send the fire of God right now. We we'll send the light. Uh, Let's send the light of God out because demons cannot comprehend the light of God. So we shine light out in every dark areas of our lives. Out. We shine the light of the Lord. Out. Let the light of God shine. Out. Let the light of God shine in the name of Jesus. Out. You have no more place to hide. Out. Wherever you're hiding, let the light of God expose you. The light of God expose you. As the light of God expose you, you will catch fire and die. You will catch fire and die. You will catch fire in the name of Jesus catch fire we refuse to give up we refuse to retreat we refuse to surrender let today be that day let today be that day of the breakthrough let today be the day we get the answers to the prayers we've been waiting for we get the results we've been waiting for we get the results in the name of Jesus I decree that by the morning time you're going to wake up with great news this week will not end Without you getting great news uh, This week will not end uh, Without something amazing happening In your life in the name of Jesus uh, in, in the name of Jesus uh, Great things are going to happen today Great things are going to happen this day. Uh. When you wake up in the morning, uh, I prophesy and I decree in the name of Jesus. Uh, you're going to see the visible signs of your prayers. You're going to see the visible signs of what you've been praying for, what you've been praying about. Whatever fought you yesterday will not fight you today. Whatever stopped you yesterday will not stop you today. In the name of Jesus, uh, we decree uh, We decree that we are stepping into a greater today. Day. In the name of Jesus, Ruakari Bakari me, Riakara Makaso, Riare Ribe Kirina, Ribe K, Rimaka. I want you to register your name in the realms of the spirit tonight. Let your name be registered. Let those demons know that you're not afraid of them. Let those demons know that you're not afraid of them. Ribakari Nana Mokosa, Ruabakari Yare, Ribe K, Rina Karuakari Rabakasa. We come with the forces of heaven we're coming angelic host today we come with angelic host today we're going forth uh. we're pressing on uh. we're pressing on uh. we're pressing on uh. I want you to keep pressing on in the name of Jesus, we press, we decree victory today. We decree victory, victory in the name of Jesus. We're victorious. We are victorious today. We're 
you're victorious tomorrow. September, you are the month of restoration. September, you are the month of breakthrough. You are the month of victory. In the name of Jesus, Sam. In the name of Jesus, we refuse to give up. Nah, we refuse to back down nah. We're not backing down anymore We're not backing down anymore So we come full force nah. We come with an angelic host nah. Lord God release angels right now Lord God release war angels nah. Let the fiery dart nah, of the enemy Be quenched nah. Every fiery dart of the enemy We quench it right now We quench every fiery dart nah, That the enemy is sending our way We quench you right now You will not be effective in our lives in the the name of Jesus. Uh. Whatever you send out uh, will be stopped in the name of Jesus. Uh. It will not manifest uh, in our lives uh, regardless of whatever mistakes we've made. Uh. We cry out for mercy. Lord God have mercy. Lord God have mercy on us. Uh. Lord God have mercy. Had it not been for the mercy of the Lord I would be consumer. What a merciful God you are. What a merciful God you are. What a merciful God. Oh we serve a merciful God. Ri makaru waba. Ri yakari be kiri rara makasa. Ri mekuri rara bakasa. Ri bakari na na. Ri be kiri na na makaso. E kiri bakam. In the name of Jesus, uh, yes, sir, uh, we render them powerless right now. Every powers of darkness, uh, you are powerless. In the name of Jesus, uh, you are powerless over our lives. Uh, you are powerless over our relationships, over our minds. Uh, we render you powerless. Uh, you have no power over us. Uh, we'll take authority over you. In the name of Jesus, you're powerless. Uh, over our minds, you're powerless. Over our relationships, you're powerless. Over our our marriage is your powerless. Over our finances, your powerless. Over our children, your powerless. Over our health, your powerless. Over our opportunities, your powerless. I want you to begin to decree in the name of Jesus. Uh, no powers of darkness uh, will reign over you. No powers of darkness uh, will overtake you. But we overtake every demon right now. We overtake them. Listen, we're getting close to midnight. And this is the time when demons begin to strategize their agenda for the day against you and your family this is the time that they begin to plan to gather around we want to pray right now we're going to send fire right now that wherever there's going to be any demonic meeting that will be held against you uh, that let it catch fire wherever they're going to meet tonight any demonic assignment every meeting place uh, in the kingdom of darkness against our lives our destinies we send the fire of the Lord God right now we send Holy Ghost fire over every meeting area in this region wherever you are I want you to send the fire of God over every demonic meeting wherever the witches are supposed to meet tonight let it catch fire let it catch fire wherever the witches uh, are supposed to meet tonight uh, to discuss the agenda of the day uh, agenda for your life agenda for your city agenda for your family we send fire we send destruction we send confusion in the name of Jesus uh, I want you to send the fire of the Lord Jesus uh, over every meeting place uh, that the enemy plans to meet tonight whether it's in land uh, we send fire whether it's in, in the sea we send fire we send fire in the land in the sea uh, we send fire right now they would not be able to meet tonight they would not be able to meet in the name of Jesus uh, every demonic meeting now uh, against my life uh, you would not be able to meet Lord God sent angels uh, to disrupt that meeting uh. Lord sent angels uh, to destroy that meeting Send angels right now. Send angels right now to disrupt every demonic meeting against my life. Uh, to disrupt every demonic meeting against any agenda against my family. Oh, Father, we disrupt it right now. We send the fire, the fire of the Lord over every demonic meeting place right now. Every place is uh, where the witches want to meet tonight. I send fire. That before they even get to the meeting 
taking place out. It will catch fire in the physical realm or the spirit realm. The Bible says, suffer not a wish to live. So we send the fire of the Lord. Let it catch fire. Wherever they're meeting, let it catch fire. Whatever the agenda, let it catch fire. We'll burn every demonic contract. We'll burn every demonic agreement. I want you to burn every demonic contract against your life, against your family. Burn every demonic agreement that have been signed. We burn it in the name of Jesus. We burn it in the name of Jesus. Whatever contract that the enemy has out on me, out on my family, out on my destiny, let it be burned to the ground right now. Let it be burned to ashes right now. Let it be burned in the name of Jesus. Let it be burner. Let it be burner. Let it be burner. Let it be burned right now. In the name of Jesus. I got, we got a few more minutes to keep pressing on. And we pray right now. Oh, Lord God, right now, Father God, rescue us, oh God. We need you to rescue our family members, God. Rescue those that are bound by the enemy. Rescue them right now. Set them free. Break them free. Deliver them, Father, from the hands of the enemy enemy from the mouth of the enemy oh break them free in the name of jesus Oh, God, we thank you. Oh, Father, we thank you. Yes, Father, we thank you. Oh, yes, God, we'll recall, recover all of it. We're taking it back. We're taking over. We're taking it back. We're taking it back. We're taking it back. We're taking it back in the name of Jesus. Sir. We're taking it back uh, in the name of Jesus. Sir. We're taking it back. In the name of Jesus, we take it all. In the name of Jesus, we reclaim it back. Whatever we lost, we reclaim it back. Ruwa makari yarare, rebe kiri na na makaso. Ruwa kari ya bakari na ne me kiri rara bakasa. Reba kari ma, reba kori yarara bakasa. We reclaim all of it. Reba mokori na, reya bakari be, reba kari ba. Double for our trouble. Double seven times. Ah, we reclaim it back. Ah, oh reba kari na ne. We reclaim it back. Ah, we reclaim it. Back a uh, seven foes, uh, seven foes. Uh, when you catch a thief, he gotta pay you back. Uh, he's been caught. Uh, the enemy has been caught. So we re reclaim everything back a hundred foes. Uh, we reclaim it back a thousand foes. We reclaim it back right now. Riba karuana, riya bakari na nemne, ribe kiri yara baka sokori na, rima kari na nama, riba kari yara ribe kiri yara baka sa, robo kori na. Ria karere re be kori na na makasa ruwa karebe rika na mamo kori bakasa robo kori ya ria karira ra makaso. Riba, Rima Kariara Rebe Kirina na Makasa, Ruwa Karebe, Rima Mokorina na Makasa, Ria Bakaro Korina, E Kiriara Bakari Bakosina na Maho, Ria Bakarebe, Ria Nani Kaso Rika Ma, Robo Korina, Ria Karebe Kirina na. Oh, we claim it back, Father. We reclaim it in the name of Jesus. We reclaim it in the name of Jesus. Oh, Father God, we thank you. We thank you. We press on. We press on lord god we continue to press on in the name of jesus we continue to press on in the name of jesus uh. we're marching forward uh. we're going forward uh. no more backwards uh. we're going forward today i want you to keep going forward no more backwards in the name of jesus uh. you're going forward you're going forward in the name of jesus 
Uh, I want you to prophesy to yourself that I'm not going backwards anymore. I'm not going backwards anymore. In the name of Jesus, I'm not going backwards. Uh, I want you to speak to yourself that you're not going backwards anymore. The days have gone backwards are over. From this moment forth, uh, you're only going to make progress. Progression, no more regression. You're not going to take any steps backwards, uh, but you're going to keep going forward in the name of Jesus. Jesus, uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, you will press forward. Uh, you will march on. Uh, you will march on. Uh, you will march on in the name of Jesus. Uh, you will march on. Uh, I want you to prophesy to yourself. I'm not going backwards anymore. I'm not going backwards anymore. The days of me going backwards are over. Starting right now. Every step I take, uh, I'm making progress because the steps of a righteous man or woman are ordered by the Lord. And because your steps have been ordered by God, God makes no mistakes. Uh, God don't take steps backwards. Um, so today you're going forward. Uh, today you marching ahead. Uh, you are marching ahead. Uh, you've let the enemy know that you're going forward. You let the enemy know no more regression, only progression. We're going forward uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, in your relationships, you're going forward. In your marriages, you're going forward. In your finances, you're going forward. In your health, you're going forward. In your family, you're going forward. In your jobs, you're going forward. In your careers, you're going forward. In every area of your life, I prophesy and I speak that you're going forward in the name of Jesus. Uh, immediate effect uh, with immediate effect. Whatever was fighting you before to take you backwards, uh, you will be removed uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, I remove every demon. Uh, I bind and I cast them to the abyss right now where they will have no rest. Uh, whatever demon that took you backwards, uh, whatever spirit that took you backward, uh, whoever's involved in taking you backwards, uh, let them be removed in your life right now. Let them be removed from your life in the name of Jesus. Uh, and God will send people that will take you forward. God will send people that will take you forward in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Riba karina ne me. Ria karo bo korina na makasa. Oh, koriba karira rebe kerina na. Ruwa kariana ne me kerira rabaka so korina. Rebe ke. Riba kariara rabaka so. Ruwa karina ne me. Oh, Father God, we thank you. We thank you, Father God. We thank you. We thank you that our destinies have been birthed today. We thank you, Lord God, for the testimonies. We thank you, Lord God, for the open doors. We thank you, Lord God, that we are moving forward uh, oh god we're not afraid of the enemy but we're moving forward in the name of jesus hallelujah oh hallelujah thank you lord god thank you lord god thank you lord god thank you lord god i want you guys to continue on in this mood of prayer a lot of times people are so terrified of making progress because there's this idea that has been put out by the enemy from the pit of hell that the higher you go the higher the level the higher the devils right but what you don't understand that the higher the levels the higher the protection that you get there's higher angels that will fight for you than any demon can come i'm telling you stop being afraid to make progress because the enemy is going to come after you that is a lie from the pit of hell that is a lie from the pit of hell they want you to be afraid. Oh, don't make any progress. Don't do stuff for the Lord because the devil is going to come after you. Listen, the enemy will come after you anyway. He will come after you. He's been coming after you. So what's going to change? Nothing. So you might as well just keep moving. You might as well just keep going. Stop being afraid that the enemy is going to come after you because you make progress. Nonsense. Those days are over. Those days are, are done. Those days are done. So we thank the Lord Jesus that we are moving forward. We are moving forward. When you wake up in the morning and you feel discouraged, you feel down, you feel, just listen, I'm moving forward in Jesus' name. I am moving forward today. You prophesy that to yourself so that your, your subconscious mind, your subconscious mind understand that you are moving forward. 
your subconscious mind, that your spirit being, your soul understand that you are moving forward. You, you speak that to yourself. You get up in the morning, you look in the mirror and say, you know what? I'm moving forward today. I don't care what I did yesterday, but today I am moving forward in the name of Jesus. I am moving forward in the name. Of, you got to speak that. I'm moving forward. So let today be the last day. Matter of fact, yesterday was the last day that you used any negative words about going backwards. No more. No more. You're going forward in the name of Jesus. You are going forward. You have the victory according to your faith. No one can have faith for you. Believe it. Stand strong and watch and see the salvation of the Lord. Watch and see how the Lord God will show up for you. I'm telling you, God will show up for you. If you just stand strong, sometimes you mess up, we mess up, get back on track again and say, Lord God, genuinely go back to the Lord. But I just want to congratulate you and welcome you again to your new, to your destiny. Welcome you now to your new, awesome, awesome beginning. You're walking in destiny. You are walking in it. You are walking in it. Don't let anybody take you backwards. Don't let anybody. Don't let yourself take you backwards. So be encouraged tonight. And don't forget, you know, we're coming back again tomorrow night. More, more, more. We're pushing again tomorrow night. So make sure that you're sharing this link and you're liking the video so more people can be able to watch it. So if you haven't liked the video yet, make sure to like it, share with a friend, share the link um, wherever and let people be blessed. But we are coming back again tomorrow night at 9 p.m. Eastern time. OK, so join us. Share the link with a friend. Anyone that's looking to get to that next level. We're not playing with the enemy anymore. We're not tolerating that. Not, we're not living in fear. I don't care what the economy says. You don't live in fear. You stand strong and you watch the Lord God do amazing things for you. So for all those that have been living in fear, that are down with any type of sickness, diseases or whatever, I want you to have us to join us tomorrow because I believe that God is going to mighty deliverance. Great breakthrough is going to happen tomorrow. So come ready, come prepared, come with an open heart and watch and see what the Lord Jesus Christ is going to do. It is not by might, not by power, but by my spirit, saith the Lord. So I want you to understand that. Now is your time for your breakthrough. Now, now is your time. No more backwards. No more. But if, if you got a hummet in your mouth, if you got a say in your head as you're walking, I'm not going backwards. I refuse. I'm not going backwards. J listen, say that as many times as you need to, to get it to soak in your subconscious mind and soak in your heart. I'm not going backwards. No, I refuse. Anytime that a negative thought comes in your head. Nope. I reject that thought in Jesus name. You can't stop thought from coming to your head, but you can you can uh, direct the thought. Nope. I reject that thought. Nope. Nope. I'm not I'm not dealing with that. I reject that in Jesus name. I reject every negative thought. Reject it in Jesus name. Reject poverty. Reject sickness. Re listen, reject it in Jesus name. And nope, nope, I reject that thought. I reject it in the name of Jesus. And God is going to do amazing things tomorrow. So make sure you join us tomorrow uh, and we are going to continue on. God bless you. Have a wonderful night. As we say off, just go spend some time and just soak in the presence of the Lord.